So do you ever get a little overwhelmed by your goals? You know, 2021 is coming up, a new year is on the horizon, and this is about the time that people start coming up with new goals. Getting healthier, making more money, you know, really focusing on relationships, and we come up with these big goals. But when we start looking at these goals, we're like, ah, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Well, I'm going to help you manage through power through and achieve the goals that you want to in 2021. Stay tuned. Hello my friends and welcome to This Simple Sober Life. I am Joshua and I help other sober professionals conquer their fears and achieve their goals quicker and more efficiently. So 2021 is coming up and you know the big thing about a new year is starting anew, coming up with resolutions, coming up with goals and working to achieve them. However, usually by the third week of January, we've kind of forgotten about those resolutions. We've kind of forgot, put them on the back burner because life gets in the way, especially with everything going on right now. You know, we have so many distractions in our life right now that it's so easy to put those goals on the back burner. And you know, a lot of us think about these huge monumental goals that we want to achieve. You know, we want to drop all this weight. We want to focus on our relationships and have the perfect relationship. We want to make more money. We want to do all of these things. And then when we lay it out on paper, we jot down our goals, we have it in our head, we know what we want to do. We look at it and we're like, oh, I don't know if I can really do that, you know? We set up ourselves for failure because we try to take on these monumental, these massive goals that seem so unachievable. Now, I'm here to tell you that you might be better, better off focusing on little goals, focusing on little things to take small steps in achieving your goal. One of my uh, clients, um, we were talking about goal setting and, you know, she wanted to lose weight. She wanted to improve her relationship. She wanted all of these things, which are absolutely awesome. You know, these are really things that will help improve and enrich her life. However, when she started, you know, thinking about it and, you know, processing it and figuring out how she was going to do it, it just seemed so overwhelming. I am sure that you can relate. I know that I can too. Um, there have been many times in my life where I'm like, okay, this is the year I am going to make my mark on the world. I'm going to be somebody. I am going to create a global impact. How am I going to do that? That's crazy. It's too big. It's too big. So let's start by narrowing it down and starting to create smaller goals that will um, ultimately propel us forward in achieving that ultimate goal, whatever the case may be. You know, if you want to drop, you know, a significant amount of weight, or you want to work on your mental health, or you want to work on your finances, or you want to build up that self-esteem, if you want to defeat imposter syndrome, you know, stop thinking about the larger goal. Kind of put it in the back of your head. You know, that's what you're working towards, but that's not what you're focused on right now. Create small steps that will help you move forward towards that goal. Because if you sit down and you think of something that's manageable, something that's tangible, something that you can do right now in a short amount of time, it'll be easily digestible and you will be much more successful in doing it. You know, my client, you know, she wanted to lose weight. And so, you know, starting out, she was gung-ho, she was ready, she was kicking ass. And, you know, three weeks went by and then her motivation started going down. And, you know, her incentive for wanting to do it started going down. 
And so we had to reevaluate and start planning for these smaller goals. You know, we set up a specific day and time that she would go to the grocery store uh, after having selected a recipe. So we broke it down into smaller goals. First and foremost, pick a recipe that's gonna be healthy for you and that you will enjoy. That's one goal. One very small, manageable goal that is easily obtainable. Okay, now that you've done that, what's the next goal? Okay, making a shopping list for that goal. You see where I'm going with this? So rather than thinking of the big picture, rather than thinking of, okay, I am going to lose 30 pounds this year. I can't wait to get down to my ideal weight of whatever it is. You know, start thinking about changing your lifestyle in small, manageable ways. This will also help you in actually adapting it as a lifestyle rather than a trend. You know, a lot of us go after these trends and, you know, we're all gung-ho, we're ready to go. And, um, you know, after we achieve it or come close to achieving it, then we kind of lose interest in it. However, if we start, if we're constantly and consistently taking these small steps to achieve that larger goal, we actually start adopting it into our lifestyle and it becomes routine so that we are less likely to quit, we're less likely to get frustrated, we're less likely to just say fuck it and you know move on with something else. Believe me, I've been there. Um, <laughs> you know, several months ago I was on my own health journey um, and you know I went strong. I was moving, I was shaking, I was up, I was eating right, I was doing all the things I needed to. For a couple of months, I hit my, I, I hit the weight that I wanted to lose and then I'm like, okay, that's done. Mission accomplished. However, you know, once I, I, I did it and put in my mind that, okay, I've done that, I'm done. Then, you know, things started packing on, you know, pounds started packing on. And, you know, fortunately my mindset um, I worked slowly and consistently at. And so I know that all I have to do is, you know, start taking those little steps and, um, you know, incorporating more of the healthier lifestyle into my life so that I can get back down to where I feel comfortable. So I really hope this information helped you, you know, start thinking small. You know, we, it's great to have those big goals. It's great to have motivation and inspiration to want to change the world or change yourself dramatically. But let's narrow it down to smaller goals, more bite-sized pieces, and, um, you know, so that we can be more successful in that, especially in 21, 2021, because this is going to be your year. You know, most people think that 2020 is kind of a garbage year, something that something that just throw in the toilet, flush down the hole and forget about. It. So 2021 is a new year, it's a new you, and you have the authority and you have the uh, deservingness of achieving your goals. Now, if you'd like some help with this, I am a personal development coach and I would be happy to offer my services to you. Just comment down below. Um, comment yes if you're interested in uh, getting a little more information about how you can achieve your goals in the new year. Also, make sure to give this video a big old like and uh, subscribe. I can't wait to see what your goals are and possibly help you in the future. Until next time, my friends, cheers.